name is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is... God Makes a Way, The Parting of the Red Sea and the Ten Commandments. Let's read. After Pharaoh's son died in the tenth plague, he let the Israelites live. They were near the Red Sea when Pharaoh changed his mind again and chased it after them. So Pharaoh, after his Pharaoh's son died, he told them they can let Um, he let the Israelites live, and and when they were almost nearby in the Red Sea, Pharaoh changed his mind and chased them. When the Israelites saw Pharaoh's chariot, they were terrified. But God told Moses to raise his staff toward the sea. God sent a strong wind and part the sea. So when Israel saw Pharaoh, they were terrified and they thought, Why did you? try to free us and now we're going to die they're chasing us almost people thought like that yeah they will be die and they they were all terrified uh, but God told Moses to raise his staff to work the rest of and it Part at the sea. A dark part appeared, and the Israelites walked straight through the Red Sea. There was a wall of water on each side of them. They arrived safely on the other side. So a dark part appeared and there was wall of water walls beside of them. And they were able to arrive safely on the other side. I also want to see those things happen because I think that there is water walls beside you. Paro and his army followed them into the sea. God told Moses to stretch out his hand, and the sea rolled back again, and Paro and his army all drowned. So Paro and his army followed them into the sea, and God told Moses to stretch out his hand again, and he did, and the sea rolled back again. And Paro and his army all drew. Question: <laughs> Paro and his army chased it, the Israelites and captured them again in the Red Sea. False. <laughs> God let his people start. Wildness. He fed them and gave them water. They camped at Mount Sinai. 
where God told Moses to meet him on the mountain top. So God led his people through whiteness and he feed them and gave them water. And God told Moses to meet him on the mountain top. Surrounded by fire and smoke, Moses climbed to the top of the mountain, and God came down to meet him. So it was surrounded by fire and smoke, and Moses was kept going, and God came down to meet him. Question: Where did God? Tell Moses to meet them. Number one, the mountain top. Number two, the tent. Number three, the Red Sea. Number one was the correct answer. Then God gave Moses the Ten Commandments on two stone tables. Don't worship other gods. Don't make idols. Treat my name in respect. With respect, treat the Sabbath day as a special day. So God, um, God gave Moses the Ten Commandments, and we should. God is telling us how to live as a God's people. Isn't it amazing? Respect your parents, them mother, be loyal to your husband and your or your wife. Don't steal, don't lie, don't even people or what they own. Now the people know how to obey God. We should also obey God. Actually, we can. Do this all, so God gave us. God send us Jesus. We just believe in Jesus. Did the Ten Commandments tell the Israelites to and uh, how to obey God? Yes. Yes. Today I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy? The next time I'll read another good story. Then let's see you next time. Bye.